In this video, you'll see how to use Amazon CloudWatch events to monitor resource changes in your Amazon Web Services environment and automate alerts that invoke an action. We're going to use a simple example of how you can monitor your running Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, or EC2 instances, with CloudWatch events and then create an alert to email you if an instance enters the stopping state. Starting from the AWS Management Console, Let's navigate to CloudWatch events. Let's see how we can create a CloudWatch rule to monitor our EC2 instances. Rules can be triggered based on an event pattern that you define or on a schedule. You can even define the schedule with a cron expression. In this case, we'll use an event pattern. Event patterns can match a specific service or all events. Use caution before creating a rule that matches all events. In this case, we want to limit our monitoring to the EC2 service. As you can see, many different AWS services can be monitored by CloudWatch events. For this example, We've already set up two Linux instances running in EC2. You can use rules to monitor different event types. Let's select the State Change Notification event type. You can choose to monitor for any state change or for a specific state change. Let's set this rule to watch for instances entering the stopping state. You can also choose to monitor any instance or specific instances. In this case, we'll monitor all instances. Now, we're ready to define the target to invoke when a state change is detected. CloudWatch Events supports many different targets and actions that can be performed to respond to an event. For example, you might choose to execute an AWS Lambda function, perform an EC2 API call, or issue an AWS Systems Manager or SSM run command. In this case, let's choose an Amazon Simple Notification Service or SNS topic as the target to invoke when an event matches our event pattern. Let's quickly set up a new topic. Amazon SNS is a highly available and secure PubSub messaging service. You can use Amazon SNS topics for high-throughput, push-based, many-to-many messaging. Let's create a new topic for CloudWatch event notifications. We can also provide a display name. Now that we created the topic, we need to create a subscription to it. You can subscribe different types of endpoints, but for now, we'll select Email. Enter an email address that can receive notifications from Amazon SNS. Before we can start using the email subscription, we need to confirm it. As you can see, the subscription has been confirmed. We can also see our subscription in the AWS Services Portal. We're all set up to receive event notifications now. Returning to the rule we're creating, we can now select the topic we just created. On this next screen, we simply need to enter a name for the rule. Our rule to monitor when EC2 instances enter the stopping state has been created. Now, let's test this rule out by stopping one of the two instances. This instance is now entering the stopped state. Now, let's check our email. We've already received a new CloudWatch Events notification. 
The notification contains all the details about the event we need to take action. Notice that the details are in JSON format, which is useful when sending email notifications to other systems or AWS partner solutions. You've just seen how to use Amazon CloudWatch events to monitor resource changes in your AWS environment and automate alerts that invoke an action. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.